to welcome to any device that you're using. I'm happy we're able to still do it. It's week five, so it's getting real, real. <laughs> we'll have a strong practice again today. It will be a power vinyasa. It will be a whole body class. At the same time, uh, I will be giving, well, encouraging you to do some more inversions. So if inversions are in your practice, then there will be some opportunity today to do more of that too. So we'll start at the front of our mat, like always, standing up straight in a Tadasana mountain pose. You want to really feel your feet on the ground, press your feet onto the ground to feel tall and to reach up through the back of your skull. Relax the muscles of the face and connect to this moment, connect to your breath. If you jaya breath is in your practice, then contract the lower part of your throat to make that ocean-like sound. And you can keep going with that breath throughout the class or find a comfortable breath that works for you. What's important is to keep breathing and to have a st steady, even breath. Okay, shake your arms. Make sure that you feel strong for this class. Again, find your feet on the ground. We'll add some movement to the breath. So inhale and raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale and fold forward. Bend your knees if you need to. Stay here and inhale. Just bring the chest up, the chin up. And exhale again. Fold over the legs. Stay standing. Two more times. Inhale. Pick up the chest, the chin. Roll the shoulder blades back. And exhale. Fold. Keep pressing both of the feet down. One last time, inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, come back. So walk or hop back, you can bring the knees down for the first low push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, slide forward, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. This first down dog, pedal the knees, work with your legs however you need to work right now, whatever movement you might need. You can also turn the pelvis from side to side and even bring one leg up, fold the knee and make circular movements. Wake up your legs, your hips. Then come back to a strong, still downward facing dog, pressing to the hands Widen the shoulder blades, reach your heels back and then curl the tailbone up to the sky. Relax your head. Inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift and exhale, fold, press into the front of the feet. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Remember, you can always bend the knees if you need to and exhale, hands by your sides. Okay, so you're gonna start up A. Inhale, bring the arms up, reach up, gaze up. And exhale, fold over the legs and curl the tailbone up. Inhale, half lift, keep pressing knuckles down. And exhale, chaturanga, walk or hop back. And keep exhaling as you fold down. Inhale, come forward, reach the chest forward, the chin up. And exhale, push into the hands and find the state of the asana. Full stillness in down dog for five. Or keep pressing inner hands, outer hands down, widen the shoulder blades. Four, three. Two, stay connected with your breath. And one, exhale first. And then as you inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward and hop, half lift. And exhale, hold. 
that way we make sure that the five breaths are taken in down. The inhale, come forward, come up, reach up, gaze up, and exhale, arms by your sides. One more time. Inhale, arms up, synchronize the movement with the breath. So don't bring the arms all the way up until the end of the inhale, and then exhale, fold down, and only come all the way down at the end of your exhale. Inhale, ch uh, chest up, chin up, and exhale, come back. And again, keep exhaling until the final what if, um, the chaturanga. And then inhale, come forward and up, keep coming up. And exhale, push into the hands. Keep exhaling, keep going back, hips up, and then stay for five breaths. Four, keep pressing into the inner hands, the outer hands, really. Reach the shoulders towards the hands. Four, three. Two. And exhale first here. And then as you inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward and walk or hop forward. Exhale, fold. Keep folding, keep folding. And then inhale, come forward, come up, reach up. Exhale, arms by your sides. One last time. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, half lift. Keep pressing the hands down and exhale, chaturanga. Keep pressing the hands down, elbows in. Inhale forward, press tops of the feet down and exhale, downward facing dog. Option to come to turbo dog, bending the elbows and keeping the elbows just an inch off the ground. Keep the hips moving back and up, four, five. Elbows in, press inner hands and outer hands down, four, four. Feel your core working. So pull or belly in, keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, walk or hop forward. Exhale, fall over the legs, bring all the weight forward. And then inhale, rise up, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, arms by your side, Surya Namaskar Adi. Inhale, Utkatasana, bend the knees, weight to the heels, arms up. And exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward, bring the weight forward. Inhale, half lift, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, forward, upward facing dog, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, left heel down, keep inhaling arms, you reach up, and then exhale, chaturanga, press the hands down, keep exhaling as you come down. Inhale forward, keep inhaling as you're moving, and exhale, push into the hands, keep moving as you're breathing. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, pull the belly in, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands down. So full movement throughout the breath. Inhale forward, move a bit slower to cover the whole inhale, and exhale back. Again, move with the exhale, downward facing dog. Option to go to dolphin pose, bringing the elbows down, pushing the chest towards the feet, and breathing, four, five. If you're in dolphin, press inner hands and outer elbows down, and really push the chest to the feet, four, four. Keep the lower belly in, and curl the tailbone up, four, three. Breathe into the shoulder blades. Two. And one downward tracing dog gaze forward. Inhale, over hop, half lift. And exhale, fall over the legs. Inhale, Utkatasana, weight on the heels, knees bent, arms up. And exhale, come all the way up. Okay, open up the feet, wider apart. So feet, shoulder width apart even. Pull the belly in and reach the belly button up towards the chest. Keep the sit bones reaching down. So find that length from your pubis to your belly. You want to keep that. So then we inhale and we grab the big toes with the hands. So inhale, chest forward, keep that length, grab big toes. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Five breaths here.
four more. The intention is to eventually straighten the legs, but if you need to keep them bent, focus on uncurling the tailbone up onto your pelvic tilt. Four, three. Keep your lower belly in. Keep breathing. Four, two. And my Parahastasana. So from here, inhale, pick up the chest and exhale the hands under the feet. Inhale, pick up the chest again, bring all the weight forward and exhale, bend the elbows, fold over the legs. Five breaths here, four, five. Or think of widening the shoulder blades and think of reaching your six bones up to the sky, four, three. Keep pressing the balls of the feet onto the hands and the hands onto the ground. For two more breaths, stay there. And one. Good. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, release the hands. Place them at the front of the mat. Take a small step back. We we'll keep working with the shoulders. So bring all the weight to the arms and push. And then relax. So push, shoulder shrugs, relax, and do it 10 times. So pushing, elevating the scapula, and then releasing. For 10, 9, 8, 7. Alex, I think you're muted. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, so we're at the handstand press, but we want to do tracks here. So bring all the weight forward and then press into the hands to elevate the scapula. Feel that the shoulders come closer to the hands. And then relax and push again. So 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push into the hands. Keep reaching away through the shoulders. Keep the arms straight, the shoulders straight. And then from here, bring all the weight forward. 10, 9, 8, maybe come to the tippy toes. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and Chaturanga. Push to come back. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, bring the left knee down, untuck the left toes, and then from here bring the hands to the thigh and push the hips forward. Chin in, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and then uh, round your back towards the knee. Four or five breaths. Four, keep pulling the lower belly in, reach it up. Four, three. Two. And one, press into the feet, come back, fight right angles with the knees, pull the belly in, inhale the arms up, reach up, tuck the, um, sorry, uh, interlace the fingers, reach up through the index finger, reach higher up, and then from there bring the hands to your chest, but keep the length of the spine, and exhale, twist to the right. You can stay here or you can hook the elbow there, but find that twist from the chest. And then from there, you can tuck the back toes under and optional, straighten the back leg. Five breaths. Four. You can use the elbow against the knee to press and really open up through the shoulders. Four, three, think of the left shoulder moving forward and the right shoulder back. Two, keep the back leg strong the front hip working. And one, press into the feet, inhale, come back to center. Straighten the back leg if it's on the ground. High lunge, interlace the fingers, gaze up, reach up, and exhale, hands back for five breaths. Keep pressing down into the feet, four, four. Doesn't have to be a big arch, but think of the chest opening, four, three. Squeeze elbows together, squeeze wrists together, reach up and reach back, four, two. Stay with it, maybe go deeper. And one, inhale, come forward. 
and exhale, move the weight forward over the front leg, five breaths here, four, keep pressing down into the feet, three, two, and one, exhale, hands to the ground, bring your back foot in, straighten both legs, but push the left hip forward, suck lower belly in, pick up the chest, if needed, bring the hands to the leg, Otherwise, hands on the ground, and exhale, fold over the leg, pyramid fold. Four more breaths. Keep the legs straight, keep pressing down into the feet. Four, three. Two. And one. Inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, bring your left hand to the outside of the right foot. If it's too much, keep it on the inside, press into the hand and open up. But the final pose, revolved triangle, is with the hand to the outside. So that's what we're working towards. Keep the legs straight, keep the belly in and twist with the shoulders for three more breaths. Pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum and reach the head away from the sacrum. Four, two. And again, you can press into the left hand to push the left shoulder forward and reach up to the right arm and back. Four, one. Pull the belly in, press the feet down, inhale, come back up, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold, hands to the ground, chaturanga, belly in, press into the hands, no sound. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward. Right knee down. Untuck the toes. Suck the belly in and push the hips forward. Hands to the thigh. Roll the shoulders back. Chin, head to knee. Four, five. The more you push the hips forward, the more you feel the stretch of the right hip flexors. Four, four. The more you press the feet down, the safer it is. So press the feet down, activate the right glute, and push the right glute forward. Four, three. Two. And one. Press down, pull the belly in, come back to center. Close the distance between the feet if you're not at right angles. Press the feet down, reach the arms up. Reach up through the arms, keep that length, and then exhale, hands to chest. Find a twist from the upper body, the upper back, pull the shoulders down, and then bring the elbow against the knee if you did so on the other side. Option again to straighten the back leg. Five breaths. Four, wherever you are, left glute is on fire. Four, three. Two, keep the lower belly in, the chest open. And one, press feet down, inhale, come back to center. Straighten the back leg, reach up through the arms, gaze up, and then exhale, just the hands go back and back bend through the upper back. Four, five. Keep the back leg straight, the front knee over the left heel, four, four. Keep reaching up and back through the hands, three. Squeeze the wrists together, squeeze the elbows together, four, two. Maybe go a bit lower, and one. Inhale, come back up, good job. Exhale, bring the weight forward, press the left foot down, put the left thigh working, four, five. Keep the right leg straight and press into the ball of the right foot, four, four. Suck more belly in, ribs in and forward. Four, three, two, and pyramid fold. Hands to the ground, straighten the back leg. You can keep the, leg, the arms on the ground or bring them higher up to straighten the front leg. Think of the left inner thigh moving back and press the right heel down to squeeze the right glute, send it forward. Four, four. Lower belly in and forward, ribs in and forward. Four, three. If you can go lower, make sure that you're not compromising the lower back. Keep on curling the tailbone up, lengthening forward. 
or two. And one. Pyramid, revolt, uh, uh, triangle. So right hand on the ground to the inside or outside. If it's too much, you can always have a slight bend on the front leg, but eventually you want to straighten the legs so that you're a triangle. Press into the right hand, push the right shoulder forward and reach the left arm up and reach the left shoulder back for four. Keep the lower belly in, the ribs in, four, three. Think of the mid ribs twisting, the chest twisting, four, two. And one, exhale, hands to the ground, press the feet down, pull the belly in, press feet down to inhale and come up. Reach up, long body, and exhale, chaturanga. Press into the hands, press into the back foot, round the back, and fold the elbows. Inhale, come forward. And exhale back. Okay, one more vinyasa. So inhale into a plank position. Press all the knuckles down. And then exhale, chaturanga. So for chaturanga, you actually want the shoulders to keep moving forward, but the elbows to stay where they are. And then inhale, keep moving forward. Roll over the feet, press the tops of the feet down. And exhale, push into the hands to go back. Let's try again. Inhale, plank pose. Option to bring the knees down. Exhale, start bending the elbows, but the elbows stay over the wrists. Inhale forward, roll over the feet, and exhale back. Good. Inhale the right foot forward, warrior two position, left foot um, parallel to the short side of the mat. Press the feet down, rise up. Roll the shoulders back, pull shoulder blades down. Gaze beyond the, the front fingers for five breaths. So five breaths in warrior, four, four. Three, keep reaching up way through the arms, keep reaching up through the back of the skull. Four, two. And one, reverse the warrior, left hand to the left shin and reach the right arm overhead. Option to come a bit higher, but if you can be low, make sure that the front knee is bent. Four, five. Keep cycling lower belly in, ribs in, open up the chest. Four. Three. Two. And one, you help come back to your warrior. And then straighten the leg. Bring the foot parallel to the small side of the mat and go for warrior two on the other side. So open up the left foot, bend the knee, warrior two, four, five. Keep pressing the feet down, feel the glutes activating, chest up, shoulder blades down, four, four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale here and exhale, reverse the water. Hand to the back leg, keep the front knee bent. Reach away to the left hand, keep the front knee over the heel. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. Press into the feet, suck belly in, inhale, come back up. Straighten the front leg, turn the foot parallel to the short side of the mat. Bring the arms back to interlace the hands together. So you want to find this internal rotation of the shoulders, turning the palms towards the back. So palms to the ground and then towards the back. And then with that shoulder rotation, move the hands close together. Then turn your palms so that they face one another, but keep the rotation of the shoulders. Press the palms together, pull the hands back, push the chest forward, and the chest up. Reach up through the chest, and exhale. C. So press the outer feet down, and fall over the legs. Four, five. 
keep the lower belly in, the hands moving away from the feet, 4-4, four, four. push the chest closer to the center of the legs, 4-3, two, 2, and on, press outer feet down and inhale, come back to center, reach up, bring your hands to the hips, inhale, kick out the chest, and exhale, bring your hands to the feet. If you can, grab big toes, otherwise bring your hands to the ground. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, bend the elbows and bring the chest all the way in between the legs, four, five. Keep pressing outer feet down and send the sit bones up, four breaths. You can bring the weight a bit further forward, feel the back of the legs stretching, four, three. So really press the balls of the feet down and the outer feet down. Four, two. And one, press outer feet down. Inhale, pick up the chest halfway. Stay here as you exhale. Again, press feet down, activate the legs and inhale, hands to waist and come up. Okay, so if you have a wall, we can do some hops against the wall now that we're warm. Otherwise, you can do some hops from your down dog. So the down dog cops, you're pressing down, widening the shoulder blades, gazing in between the hands, bending the knees, and the idea is to push strongly, keep gazing forward, and hop for the hips to come over the hands, and then try again. If you can do it uh, against the wall, then maybe come to a shorter stance than uh, a down dog, push into the hands, widen the shoulder blades, gaze forward again, and try to hop with both legs to bring the hips onto the wall first. And then maybe you straighten the legs or maybe you stay there and you repeat. If it's too much with both legs, then you can bring one leg up and use the other one to help you uh, find momentum and push to kick up, take a breath or two and then come down. And then again, if this is a lot, you can use some momentum so arms up, take a step, come down and kick. I remind you, down dog jumps are always an option and if you feel that it's too much still, you can do uh, three-legged down dog for five breaths and then switch legs and do three-legged with the other leg. Okay, so play 10 breaths in whatever you're doing. Nine. Eight. Seven. If you find yourself up against the wall or in a handstand, keep pushing the hands down and keep reaching up through the legs. Four, four. Maybe you find some air time and then you land down gently. Four, three. Two. Okay, last jump. And when you're done, come to child's pose. Child's pose with the arms by your side. And get the tailbone. Send the crown of the head forward. And breathe into your belly. Anahatasana, heart melting pose. So we'll open the shoulders a bit. We'll go for um, two different versions of the pose. So the one is hips over the knees. So starting from tabletop, keep the hips over the knees and walk the hands forward. Keep the hips over the knees, walk the hands all the way forward and then push the chest towards the ground, chin reaching forward. We'll take five breaths here, and then if you're comfortable, you press the elbows down, you bring the palms together, and you move the hands overhead. You can bring the elbows a bit closer to 
feel like you're really working with the elbows and you want to push forward with the elbows and back with the chest to feel like you're opening the shoulders. So start with the straight arm position and then you can try the bent arm position. Five breaths. Four, keep the hips over the knees. Tap your belly in and forward. Four, three. Two. And one. Come to your tippy toes, sorry, to the fingertips. Press into the fingertips. Suck the lower belly around the back. And then from there, walk the hands back. And we'll go for the second variation. So if you felt like the first variation was a lot, you can repeat it. If you feel like trying something else, then we're going for the bent elbows. So you walk the hands forward again, keep the hips over, then you place the elbows down, move the hands together, push the chest under, and then bring the arms over the head. Keep the chest moving towards the knees, and keep the elbows moving away from the knees. Push down and breathe. If this is too easy, then you can place something under the elbows so that they come higher and you're actually pushing the chest lower. Four breaths here. Three. Two. And on. slowly move the arms away. Come to the fingertips, pull the belly in, round your back, and then walk the hands back. Child's pose for three breaths. And then you come forward to walk, work with your dolphin pose. So elbows shoulder width apart, hands shoulder width apart. Press inner hands and outer elbows down. Suck lower belly in, tuck the toes under, push the hips back. And then from here, eventually you want to walk the feet in as much as you can. Keep the chest pushing towards the feet, feel the shoulders opening again, just like what we were doing before. Lower belly in, six bones up, and breathe. If you need to, bend the knees. Four, five. Four. Three. Two. Push the chest a bit closer to the feet, and one. Slowly walk the feet away, and come to a kneeling position. Sit on top of your heels. So what's coming now is some work for forearm stand. What we were doing until now is also work for forearm stand. So feel free to repeat, do your dolphin pose. Option to do one-legged dolphin, so bringing one leg up. If you are ready to take it to the wall, then you want to be one leg's distance away from the wall. So your leg, where your hands are, um, well, no, where your knees are is where your elbows will be. So find your hands next to the knees, keep a knee, uh, hand there, turn around, and then that's where the elbows will be. From there, find your hands, and then you can bring the um, elbows up to move the knees a bit out of the way. Press the elbows down and then walk the, hand, the feet up the wall. If it's too close, uh, well, it should be, feel close, so you can push the chest towards the feet. But if it makes it impossible for you to come up, then you can come one leg's distance away from the wall. So where your hips are, that's where the elbows will be. And then you can work with L shape. So keeping the elbows there, press inner hands and outer elbows down, and walk the, hand, the feet up, just the height of the hips, to keep pressing into the inner hands, the outer elbows, keep the feet at an L shape, and reach the sit bones up. 
So choose your variation and play. If you come closer, then you can come closer to a full forearm stance, but then an L shape is also a great way to work with your strength. So 10 breaths in any variation. Go for whatever you like. Dolphin. Dolphin with the feet closer and one leg up. Or a forearm stance against the wall or a free forearm stance if that's what we are working with. So find your position and wherever you are, keep pressing inner hands and outer elbows down. Keep pushing the chest away from the hands so that you feel the shoulders opening and keep breathing. Eight more breaths. If you're playing with the legs, one leg up at a time, then keep both legs strong and straight. Keep the glutes active. Six more breaths. Keep the deep core working. The ribs in and towards the chest. Four, two. And then switch legs if you're doing one side so that you do the last four breaths with the other leg. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down with control, come to your child's pose. And we're going for one last uh, Pincha Mayurasana drill. So one last drill to help us find forearm stunt. If you're comfortable with jumping up without a wall, then you can do some hops from Dolphin. So pressing inner hands and outer elbows down, tuck the toes under, walk in, keep gazing forward, and bring one leg up and do small hops and eventually Maybe you find some balance and then use a uh, change side so that we work with both sides. If you're not uh, comfortable doing that freely, then bring your fingers uh, just one centimeter away from the wall, so really close to the wall. Elbows in, press down, and then you can jump up against the wall. Maybe you won't get there, but at least you know there's a wall behind you, so you won't fall. So keep hoping and keep breathing. Okay, so try it. Keep the lower belly in and keep pressing inner hands and outer elbows down. That's it. Keep pulling the belly in. Keep reaching up through the sit bones. And if you keep pressing down through the arms, there's nowhere to fall. Especially if you have the wall behind you. But if, if there's no wall, keep the belly strong, the core strong, and that will help you to stick it up. A couple more, more tries. Make sure that you're trying with both legs. So go with the other leg if you've only tried one leg. One last try. And then again, if you stick it up, maybe against the wall or maybe freely, keep reaching up through the feet, keep pressing down through all points of corner of contact with the ground. When you're done, come to child's pose and breathe it out. Poses like forearm stand, Pincha Mayurasana, um, handstand, they just need a hundred folds until you can safely stick it up and stay there. So every time you fall, that's one fold closer to getting there. Just keep doing it every day. Okay. Consistency and intensity. So focus and repeat. Okay, we're coming to all fours, tabletop position. We will inhale the right arm all the way up, reach up, 
and exhale, bring the hands under the armpits, thread the needle, and bring the shoulder to the ground. Take three breaths here, pulling the shoulder blades down the back, keeping the hips over the knees. And one, exhale the belly in, press the left hand down, inhale, bring the arm all the way to the sky again, reach up, and exhale, hands under the shoulder. Inhale, the left arm all the way up, push the right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back, and exhale, the arm under the armpit, and rest there. Keep the hips over the knees, pull the belly in, pull the shoulder blades down, three breaths. Back belly in, press right hand down, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, hands to tabletop. Okay, round back position, so angry cat position. Press the knuckles down, round through the upper back, round through the middle back. Roll the shoulders all the way to the sky and towards the sacrum, and push into the hands to widen the shoulder blades. So this round back position is what we want for hopping through. Tuck the toes under, reach the hips up and away. So remember the round back position, that's what you want to come, uh, you want to, come to. So we will inhale to a plank position with a round back, gaze forward and exhale, push. So imagine like you're um, disgusted by the ground, by your mat. So really push away from the ground, reach the chest away from the ground, and exhale, come back to downward facing dog. One more modified plank, press it to the hands, widen the shoulder blades, round the back as you straighten the legs, as you extend the hips, and exhale, come back. If you need a rest, come to your knees and shake your arms off. So what we're going for right now is to hop through. So hopping through needs you to really press into the hands and find that round back position. And then you want to really bring the knee to the chest, the foot in, and then you actually cross the shins on the way. So come back to your down dog, press into the hands, widen the shoulder blades. So we'll do one leg at first. So come forward to your rounded back plank and bring your knee to your chest, left knee to chest, left foot to right hip, and exhale, pushing to the hands, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale to round back plank, and exhale, knee to chest, right knee to chest, heel to left hip, and exhale, come back. Again, if you need to, come to your knees and rest. So now we want that action to happen with both legs, we want to keep pushing into the hands, keep rounding the back, keep gazing forward so that we hop through. And that will happen in just one inhale. So you can exhale, bend the knees, prepare, widen the shoulder blades, round the back. And then as you inhale, push and hop so that you hop through. Maybe it won't happen the first time you try it because otherwise you're a superhero. But it makes sense to just keep pushing, keep widening until one day it happens. So try it. Bend the knees, exhale, and then inhale, hop through with the knees close to the chest. Maybe the feet will come to the ground. And then you will keep pushing, keep rounding the back to straighten the legs. Send the sits bones back. Inhale, pick up the chest. And when you're ready, we're going for a round back. Um, Pasimottanasana. So chin to chest, round your back, and bring your head to your knees. Keep the lower belly in. Feel that you're flexing the front of the spine, the front of the body. Roll the shoulders up and back. So lower the shoulder blades. Inhale here. Exhale, maybe bring the, knee, the head closer to the knees. Keep the legs straight if possible. Flex the feet. Inhale. Exhale, maybe come a bit lower. Pull the belly in and inhale, come back up. We will press the hands down, bring the elbows in, roll the shoulder blades down. So shoulders back and shoulder blades down. Press into the hands. Okay. 
And then from here, what happens is we want to round the back, press into the hands, flex the feet, push into the hands, and then straighten the arms, and maybe you lift the hips. Come down, try it again, and then eventually what we want is to press into the hands, push, straighten, lift the hips up, and use the belly strength to push the hips back. And the next step is to lift everything up. So there's four levels. Level one, round down, straighten and stay here, keep pulling the belly in. Level two, actually strip, pick up the hips. Level three, push the hips back all the way up. And level four, lift everything up. So try it, four or five. Go for whichever variation. Four, four. Three. I don't know why it keeps unmuting me and taking me out. Okay, so the exercise is the following. Flex the feet, press hands down, elbows in, shoulder blades back, round the back. Push into the hands and maybe you lift the hips. Maybe you push the hips back. Maybe you lift everything up. Three breaths. And two more breaths. And one. Good job. Okay, slowly come down. We're going for the same exercise with the legs crossed. If you can find lotus or half lotus, this becomes easier. I'll show it with the feet under, so that I show the hard variation. So it's the same exercise. Number one, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, round the back, and maybe you push and you stay here, keep lifting everything up. Number two, you push and you lift the hips up. Number three, you push the hips back, lift everything up. Number four, you lift the feet up. So try it for five breaths. If you come down, come back up. Four, four. Again, it's easier with the legs in lotus or half lotus. Four, three. Remember the option, suck lower belly in and up, round the back, push, straighten the arms. Maybe you lift the hips, maybe you lift everything. Two more breaths. And one, slowly come down, slowly release the legs. Feet together, Badakonasana. Push the hips forward, heels towards the pelvis, and maybe you're higher up and you need to stay up. Maybe you're ready to start folding forward. If you're going to fold forward, keep pushing the pubis back and opening up the chest. Four, five. Four. Three, two, and one. Pull the belly in, come back to center, and use your hands to bring the knees in. So in order to go back, it's the same action. So you want the knees in, the feet close to the hips, pressing down, and then you push. If nothing lifts, then press the feet down to lift the hips. If you can actually lift the hips without pressing the feet down, then you want to also lift the feet up and eventually kick back. So in order to get to that stage, you can start with just lifting up and walking the feet back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing Bring your knees down. And let's work a bit with our headstand. Interlace the fingers together, form a cup with your hands, and place the head inside that cup. Walk the elbows in so that they're shoulder width apart. Tuck your toes under, and you can stay here and breathe. Next step is to pick up the hips and breathe. Next step is to walk the feet in. And then you can bring one knee in, Take the foot down, other knee in, 
take the foot down, maybe both knees in and breathe and eventually you can start straightening. If you need to, do it against the wall and take any variation. Remember that deep core action, that's what we want here too. So keep sucking the lower belly in and with the elbows you can think of pulling the elbows the one towards the other so that you really use the chest and the core. So keep pressing the head down, press the elbows down, pull the elbows towards one another, use your core, use your chest, suck your belly in and find your variation for 10 breaths. Nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, keep the glutes active, four, five, four, three, Two, keep the ribs in, keep the glutes active. In order to come down, you want to think of the hips moving towards the back and the feet moving towards the front, the front being the direction where your eyes are gazing. So find that counterbalance to very slowly land the feet down and find child tools. And curl the tailbone, relax the forehead on the ground, breathe into your belly. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale into the belly. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale into the belly. And exhale. Bring your hands to the ground. Press into the hands. Come up and we're coming to lying down face up. If you have specific twists that you like to do, go for it. Otherwise, we're going for the one that I find the most intense. So you'll bring the right knee to the chest, straighten the left leg, point the left foot, open up the right arm to the side, and then bring the right knee to the left. Maybe you stay here, keeping the left hand over the knee, keeping the knee on the ground, rolling the shoulder blades down, and reaching away through the right arm, if your right shoulder is on the ground, you can gaze to the right. If you want to go further, then you can straighten the right foot and grab the outer uh, part, the outer edge of the right foot with your left hand. And if you want to go even further, you can bend the left knee, grab the left foot with the right hand and breathe here for five. Four, remember you can stay with any previous variation. Three, keep thinking of length from your uh, left knee to the crown of the head. Two, keep the hips square facing the left side and open up through the ribs and through the chest. And one, carefully bring the knees back to the chest, come back to center. Grab the knees, bring head to knees, roll the shoulder blades down the back, and then straighten the right leg, point the foot, grab the right left knee with the right arm, and open up to the right. Again, you can stay here, or ground down the right knee, press down with the right hand, straighten the left leg, and bring the left arm to the side, roll the left shoulder blade down. If you want to, grab the left foot with the right hand, straighten the left leg. And then if you want to go even further, bend the right knee, grab the right foot with the left hand. And keep pushing away with everything. Five breaths. Make your breaths long and nourishing. Inhale here, exhale, pull the belly in, start bending the knees slowly, bring the knees back to center, hug your knees, bring head to knees, happy baby pose, bend the knees, grab the feet from the instep, push the thighs towards the ground, stand the six points away, roll the shoulder blades down the back, and breathe. 
Every exhale, find your lower back closer to the ground. Flex the feet. And exhale, knees closer to the ground. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Shavasana. If there's anything else you need to do, go for go. And do it. Otherwise, lie down. your whole body. We'll be here for a couple of minutes, so find complete stillness and relax completely. Very gently bring your awareness back to your body, back to the space occupied by your body. Breathe deeply all the way down to your lower belly. So completely allow your body to feel even more relaxed. Inhale deep into your lower belly, allow all the energy there to be stirred up. And exhale through the mouth, release. Inhale and send that breath to your thumbs to your fingers, to your toes, and then start moving hands, feet, head from side to side as you breathe naturally. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, bring knees to chest when you're ready and Rock from side to side. Eventually find a seated position, a position that feels comfortable today. Keep your eyes closed and keep your whole body strong and straight. Finish with three lion's breaths. So the idea is to round the back with the inhale, and as we exhale, we stick the tongue out and we make a hissing sound. So find your sits bones, set the sits bones all the way down, find the back of the scalp, send it all the way up, and inhale, round your back. And exhale.
Good job. Sit still. Bring your hands to heart center. The light inside me honors and celebrates the light inside you. Namaste. Good job. Good job, everyone. It was a strong class. We also had some technical issues that we pushed through and we made the most of it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, I'm here. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Hi, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Goodbye. You're welcome. Bye.